work in the Office of Common Ground. I chose St. Michelle, France, 1958 by Lois Maybu Jones. And what originally intrigued me about this painting was the subtle use of color. It appears somewhat tranquil in a way. And it led me to write my passage, which I will now read to you. My initial impulse when viewing this painting was one of fear and uncertainty. The greens and blues hint at water, while the yellows and browns suggest land. The overall lack of definition in the area surrounding the building, which appears to be a church, leads me to think of a river delta, where the land is so continuously doused with water, nothing can grow. Situated in the lower right-hand corner of the painting, the additional expanse of water and land add to the remote feeling of the building, increasing its mystery and intrigue. I would not want to have to intentionally travel here, the thought of traversing such unfamiliar and potentially dangerous land would be terrifying. And yet, erupting from the land like a mirage, the building stands like a beacon in the nothingness. A traveler weary from crossing this soggy, marshy land may find comfort here. There are several dark humanoid figures around and at the base of the building. They remind me of African slaves supporting the building or trying to maintain the area around and under it, carrying the weight of dirt, boulders, trees on their shoulders. They traversed the waters and the lands against their will. They were expected to support the business owned by those who also owned them, carrying the weight of their families, their history, their culture on their shoulders. As a participant in both the structural racism that engulfs American society and the struggle to dismantle racism of all forms, the painting leaves me both hopeful and heartbroken, frightened and yet comforted, relaxed and yet called to act. This piece elicits many thoughts and emotions from me. Doesn't all fine art, doesn't life itself, What's your favorite thing to do in Richmond? Mm. I love live theater, and Richmond has ample opportunities downtown, on campuses, everywhere to go to see, to see live theater performances. What's your favorite hobby? I love to crochet, and I am currently working on a multitude of gifts to give loved ones for the holidays, um, including a quilt for my mother, don't tell her, um, and uh, stockings for all of my sister and her family and my niece and so, and other various and sundry gifts, but I love to crochet. <laughs> 